If you like this video, why not subscribe? Good Monday morning, everybody. It's time for the WeCap Q&A. That's the show where I sit in my car because it's a portable sound booth. Sounds pretty good for my on-camera mics. And we talk about questions and comments that happened last week. And I share with you all the links that accumulated on the Facebook group and Twitter. Those are down below, so if that's all you're interested in, go ahead and check it out. You can tab away while I talk because there won't be a lot visually going on since this is sort of a quick and dirty show. We only got about two hours to do this show and get it on the web. Um, so not a lot to see, but there might be a few things to listen to. Uh, so having said that, let's uh, jump right in. Last week we had a question, um, which was, what camera would you get for $1,000 if you had a $1,000 budget? Since I was uh, leaning toward the GH2 and I was interested in what other people had to say, and I got a lot of good input. You can read the comments from last week uh, if you want to see what everyone said. Um, got a lot of great feedback, and I'm still kind of leaning toward the GH2 even after all that, although I have to admit the uh, the Sony NEX5N that I've talked about before dropped in price recently. It went down $100 on Amazon. You can now get the body of that camera for $400, um, and that's a pretty good deal. I imagine it's because the 5R is coming out, so they're trying to they're kind of clearing those out before the next model comes in. Um, and it's an interchangeable lens camera. Uh, the only thing I don't really like about it is it's small. I have pretty big, large meat hook type hands, and you know, even though I realize the GH2 is a small camera body, the NEX 5N is smaller. Um, plus, there's no there's no viewfinder, there's no uh, mic jack, mic input. Um, but it does have uh, 1080p at 60 frames per second, so you can do some awesome slow motion with it. So I don't know. I mean, I asked myself, well, the, uh, right now the uh, GH2 is uh, $700 for the body on Amazon. So is it really worth $300 more for what I'm getting? Larger body, mic input, um, slightly better image, blah, blah, blah. So I don't know. Um, but I'm still leaning toward the GH2 right now. Um, Doing the whole, the whole research mode, and then I wonder, well, do I even need to upgrade my camera right now? I don't know, I'm waffling. At any rate, uh, that was the question last week, so I appreciate the inputs. And uh, this week, the question is going to be, as you can see above, which is not based on a uh, viewer question or comment, because I don't have any this week. You may notice the brevity of this video, if you look at the time, it's not that long, and that's because all the questions that I was asked last week, or the comments that I had, were pretty generic, so I tried to answer them specifically um, through email or uh, reply to a comment. Um, so I didn't really have any questions I felt that were, that were that unusual to try and share with everybody. But, uh, but that's okay. It'll make the show short, you still get the links, um, and then you can move on. Uh, so this week, the question is, since I am looking at interchangeable lens cameras, if you could only get one lens, uh, what would it be and why? I'd be curious about that. There's a lot of lenses out there, and uh, a lot of new lenses or lenses made specifically for whatever new camera you get are expensive. Um, and so if I have a $1,000 budget, let's say, and I went with the GH2, that would only give me $300 to get a lens. And right now I look at the ones made by Panasonic for that camera, and there's one, I think a pancake lens, that's still $260. That's pretty, that's a lot of money. Um, so I was wondering, you know, what lens you guys would recommend, no matter what camera it is, like what focal, what focal length, uh, you know, what f-stop, uh, low, high, whatever. You know, just give me your input, and I'd be curious to hear what you guys think. If you can only buy one lens, and of course, money is is an object because I don't have a lot of it. So, uh, I'm curious also if anyone have, have used like lens adapters with cheaper uh, 35 millimeter lenses, how that worked out, and if that were true, you know, which ones would you get? So, it just kind of hit me with uh, whatever, you know, give me some good information, some new places to research because I'd be curious about that. Um, so that's like I said, the only really real question I have for this week is that one. Um, coming up this week, I actually want to talk about or promote uh, the Frugal Filmmaker, the official Frugal Filmmaker episode that's coming out on Thursday, uh, because for the first time I've actually got a guest segment. Someone from another web show is uh, doing the segment. I'm tossing to them, and we'll be turning the, the show over to them to give you some really good information about a specific topic that I'm not going to reveal at this time, but it's something that you don't hear about a lot, um, but it's really important to a production. So please check that out. That'll be Thursday, and I think you're going to like it. 
Um, don't forget to check out uh, frugalfilmmaker.com. That's the blog where all the hub of all this Frugal Filmmaker content resides. There's also Twitter, at Frugal Filmmaker. There's a Facebook group that you can search for, The Frugal Filmmaker. Lots of activity going on there. Always lots of great questions and great answers and people sharing their insight and giving their tips and finding great deals, so check that out. And of course, there is this, the YouTube channel. So sorry the show is so short today, although some people might be glad because they don't have to hear me jabber on for 10 minutes. Um, but I'm assuming next, this is kind of unusual. I've never had a week where I didn't find that there were any questions that I really needed to bring on this show but they were all just kind of generic about asking about specific parts for certain rigs and things like that. Um, or maybe I just overlooked some really good questions, so I apologize. But I'd like to thank everyone for their viewership um, and support. And we'll be back again, like I said, on Thursday for the Frugal Filmmaker episode. Check it out. It's going to be a good one. And then the following Monday for another recap show. So if, you're on, if you are making movies or whatever video content this week, good luck. And I'll see you next Monday. questions this, this time.
training.